This is the ATV300, a micro 300 watts monoblock IP65 waterproof amplifier for subwoofers. This micro monoblock amplifier can be used on your ATV, UTV, for marine applications, and for your motorcycle, and will deliver 300 watts RMS at 2 ohms. This amplifier is perfect to power subwoofers that you want to integrate into your setup. The amp is IP65 rated, which means it will survive getting blasted by jet streams of water and it will still function fine. You can even submerge it in water for a few seconds and it will still function fine. This means you do not need to worry about your amp breaking when you spray down your vehicle. The amp also has a clean black aesthetic and a white logo that illuminates in the dark to give the amp a really cool look. It also has a power and protect LED that you can see in the dark. When it comes to installing, the amp comes with the wiring harness sealed and connected to the amplifier with all of the necessary wires to integrate into your setup. We've got our power, ground, and remote lines here, the RCA inputs that you can feed from an external head unit or another amplifier. You can also splice directly into the speaker wire outputs from a factory head unit and then use the provided high-level adapter speaker wire that plug into the RCA inputs here and switch this switch into high-level input mode to use the amplifier as a high-level input. This allows you to pull signal directly from the speakers already ran in your vehicle. Now since all inputs and wiring are sealed and covered, this amp will keep moisture and dirt at bay. Your amp stays protected, rain or shine. This includes the waterproof sheet RCA input, which you can plug into confidently. Our waterproof RCA input keeps the signal flowing, rain or shine, and the unit also comes with a remote knob that allows you to control the level and gain of the amplifier from the front of your vehicle. Now if we remove this panel here, we can see all the controls for this amplifier. The first control is the phase knob, which will adjust the level of phase coming to your subwoofer. This is important to set in conjunction with the rest of the speakers in your setup. And if you feel like your subwoofer isn't hitting in sync or as powerfully, try adjusting the phase to really align it in your setup. Next, we have the bass boost knob, which will give a boost to the low end frequencies around 45 Hz, and that boost can go up to 12 dB. Then there is the subsonic knob, adjustable from 20 Hz to 60 Hz, which acts similar to a high pass filter, meaning wherever you set it to, it will play the frequency of that and above. This subsonic knob is also important if you are using this amplifier with a ported subwoofer enclosure, as you should set the subsonic knob to the tuning frequency of the port, which you can always get from the sub or enclosures manufacturer. Then there is the frequency knob, which acts like a low pass filter and controls the level of frequencies below where you set it, and that range is 32 hertz to 320 hertz. So if you set it to here to 100 hertz, it will play 100 hertz and below. This is great for a subwoofer on this channel, and when you really want to target the low end and cut out the mids and highs that your other speakers are already playing. Then we have the level knob to set the overall gain of the amplifier, and also this input voltage switch. You use the low setting if you are using standard RCA cables to input sound from a receiver or another amplifier, and then use the high setting if you are using the high level adapters to get signal directly from speaker wire. Now you probably want to see this in action, and we actually have a demo set up, so let's go check that out now. All right, so here I am all set up and ready to go. I have my amplifier powering the subwoofer on the floor here, and I also have my head unit powering the speakers behind me, and this is a pretty common setup that you would see in your vehicle. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. So for each of the songs I'm about to play, I'm going to start with no bass, and then I'm going to use the bass remote knob to bring it in so we can really hear the difference. Here we go. All right, so this is with no sub at all. And I'll start to bring it in now. So again, no sub. Start to bring it in now.
As you can see, the ATV300 is an absolute beast. Even at its compact and portable size, it outputs great power that will power complete and handle all of the low end frequencies sound for your setup. So if you want the most waterproof and high performing ATV UTV motorcycle monoblock amplifier on the market, then look no further than the ATV300 from Rockville.